So this fucking place where I'm, we're staying at, they don't have the fucking NFL package. What kind of a fucking man doesn't have the NFL package? Okay, I don't give a shit if your kid has the mumps. You, you, you carve out something out of your budget, all right, to have the fucking NFL package. So I'm sitting there going like, fuck, I, don't, I, I know I can watch it. I know I can watch it on my computer. So there's no adult there or child who's kidding who to help me navigate this thing. So I go on to the fucking direct TV thing. I sign up for something for 99 bucks and I did it. And I was like, oh my God, I did it. I did it. And I, uh, you know, Patriots Dolphins. I want to see this. I missed the first half. And whatever I signed up for was to get the radio feed. It cost me like 99 bucks. To listen to it on the radio. What, what am I, a fucking World War I fighter pilot? Huh? What, what am I, some guy from a, a time before TV? Sorry. Sorry for the bad reference there. I mean, what the fuck? I'm not 80, right? So now I'm trying to figure out how to get the video while I have the game on the radio. And all I'm hearing is that Garoppolo fades back to pass, and this guy was coming at him for like 10 yards, and he, I, evidently he stood there like Steve Grogan until the last second stay on target, and then he let it go. I still haven't seen the replay, and I guess he got picked up and slammed to the ground, and, uh, you know, I I guess he fucked up his shoulder. I have no idea. So now they got this other guy coming in for NC State, the place I went to for two semesters way back in the day. Um, And they proceed to march right down the field. So anyways, long story short, so I, I end up having a call up direct TV, right? And I, and I get into that fucking nightmare. You know, thank you for calling Direct TV. If you're calling about a pay per view that you already ordered, press one. If you're calling about one that you want to order, press two. And then right there, I sit there and you got to make that thing. Okay, if I call up and say that I already ordered it, that means they already have my money. So I know I'm going to be on hold longer. So I always go with the second option, acting as though that I want to order something now because that will get you to a person immediately Like, because uh, I just feel like they're like, oh, we don't have this fucking person's number yet. So I always pick that option. But for whatever fucking reason, you know, I, I picked the first option. I decided not to lie and then I got dragged into this whole thing. And But I'm just trying to stay calm. You know, patience is a virtue. This old guy said this to me when I was in, in Charlotte, North Carolina. We were both sitting in a bank, and I was trying to do something. It was a Saturday. There was a bunch of fucking people there. Oh, I know. I had to wire money to get this fucking place because the last people fucked us over on the other place, and, and the people were coming to fix the, the, the kitchen, and we had to be out of there. And it was Saturday, and you know Saturday. You don't want to go to a bank on Saturday. That's when nobody who has their money right shows up on a fucking Saturday, right? And they just sit there like, like, like children trying to figure out you know, that whatever, 100 minus 110 means negative 10, and you have no fucking money, and you owe the money bank, the bank money, right? So I was just sitting there going, oh God. and this guy was like a preacher or something like that, this older dude, and he just, and I could tell he was frustrated, and he just said out loud, Page, he's like, oh, patience is a virtue, and I, I've been hanging on to that, white knuckling to, to that. So I'm sitting there trying to navigate this fucking robot system, knowing, knowing. I know how this story ends. It's Charlie Brown trying to kick the football. I know it's not going to happen, but I'm trying to channel my wife's calm, relaxed energy. I'm trying to channel this fucking guy, and I'm just answering all the questions. And you know what? All of a sudden, you know, I'm not knocking down the hurdles. I'm clearing them, okay? I'm getting out in front of this fucking race. I can see the finish line, all right? I clear the last fucking hurdle, and all of a sudden, I forget what the fucking thing was. It's like, if you just, if you want to sign up, no, no, it finally got to, if you would like to speak, I forget what the last one was, but it was the last thing I had to do. It's like, say yes. And I was like, oh my God, I did it. And I went, yes. And this fucking thing, this system heard the other 80 fucking questions it asked. I had to keep hitting mute. To go, ah, you fucking cunt, and then unmute it. Because if you yell, oh, you fucking cunt, into it, the robot goes, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. And then you got to go back to the beginning. So I got my fucking mute game is down. So I get the fucking anger out, and then I just kept going pleasantly. I'd be like, you know, uh, order NFL on my computer. 
And then it asks another question. And I'd be like, Jesus Christ, how many, f-? Yeah, on mute, how many fucking questions you got to ask me? And then go, unmute it and be like, yes. <laughs> so I had answered all fucking 18 of the questions. All right. And the last one was basically, it was end. Like, is, so this is what you want to do? And I just go, yes. And the thing all of a sudden just goes, I'm sorry. I didn't understand. And then it starts asking the question. And I immediately start pan- panicking. As it's asking the question, I'm going, yes, yes. Right? And it fucking stops, you know, just, you know, if this is what you want to do, say yes. If not, say no. And then I was like, Yes. And then there's this excruciating second pause. And it comes back on and goes, I'm sorry. I didn't understand. And then I just went, yes! <laughs> In this empty fucking room. Like a complete lunatic. And of course it didn't hear me. And then I just started yelling, operator, person, you fucking cunt. And I finally hit zero. Because a lot of them don't have that option anymore. I hit zero. And it actually took me, you know, it put me on hold. And now I'm like, oh, my God. It was just like, uh, you know, now I was on hold. And then I'm thinking like, oh, my God, I'm going to be on hold forever. It's football Sunday. Every fucking 48-year-old and above fucking dude like me who blew off computers. This is my only, I, I blew this shit off. I remember I was living with Bobby Kelly and he totally embraced computers. The fucking guy can like, you know, he can go onto the dark web if he wants to. He knows what the fuck he's doing. I was just like, these things are fucking stupid. Give me a notebook and a pen. I'm going to go churn some fucking butter in here, right? Um, And I'm still paying the price. So I'm on hold for fucking ever as I'm, you know, but it's halftime. And uh, the Patriots somehow are up like, I don't know, 20 something to like three. And uh, I guess Garoppolo looked looked fucking amazing. So as I'm on hold for like 20 minutes, that computer cunt keeps coming back going, you know, basically saying, you're going to be on hold for a long time, but it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier and more exciting if you go to our website. And it's like, fuck you, I don't work for you. You know, plus the reality is I can't figure it out. Um, So... Finally, this woman comes on after like a half hour and she's just like, hey, how you doing? Thanks for calling Direct TV. We have a pleasant day, but blah, blah, blah. She just said great energy. She goes, uh, she just goes, basically, what's the problem? I was like, the problem is I'm 48 years old. I've blown off computers and I don't know how to, I just want to watch the game on my device. And she laughed and she goes, all right, what's the name on the account? She types that in. She goes, all right, you need to get the NFL Plus thing, so now you can watch it on your iPhone, all of this, and blah, 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 blah. We figured all of that out. And I was like, well, she goes, then you just go to this. And I go, don't leave me. You just got to walk me through the whole thing. She laughed. She walked me through the whole thing. It took like three minutes. It was incredible. Like, there's nothing better than getting a fucking person. They totally help you out, unless you get a jerk. But she wasn't. She was an angel. And next thing you know, I got the game. 